Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. I have a little project share here for you. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the summer. Um, it's been pretty fun around here, uh, quite busy. Um, work's been just going gangbusters, and so's my garden. And uh, so we've been doing a lot of canning and gardening here. Um, harvested, uh, gosh, green beans and radishes and cucumbers and strawberries and all kinds of goodness. Uh, zucchini and you know you know all the traditional gardening things and then um ended up canning a ton uh we did peaches and pickles and uh jam and um all green beans and uh all kinds of stuff and we're still going um waiting on tomatoes getting ready to come out here in the next week or so and um finishing up on all the other stuff that's you know uh, the rest of the cucumbers to make some more pickles and things like that and uh, whatnot. But it has been super fun. I love gardening, but it is a time user. Oh, my heavens. Uh, it takes a lot of time. So with that, you kind of have to counterbalance it. Well, what don't you get to do? So you don't get a lot of time in your craft room, but that's okay. Um, I've been able to get five minutes here and there and um, worked on these little projects here. Uh, was trying to figure out other ways to use the Stamps of Life stencil paste. Um, as well as, uh, some icing paste I have and, um, ended up getting some other new products in and that's what kind of, um, spurred on the use of these other two items. Uh, so what I ended up getting was this cream paste by Stampria and it goes, you use this in conjunction with these fun little things here. These are Stampria Texture Impression Molds. Uh, they come in a variety of patterns. I think they're about, you know, between $5 and $10. They're not very expensive. They're uh, multi-use. You just keep using them and whatnot. Um, and so I decided to test these other products out in them to see what would work really well. And uh, here's what we came up with. So uh, this card here is an A2 size card. Uh, it utilizes a fun snowflake mold and the Stampria cream paste. Uh, ran it through the, put it in the mold, stenciled it through with a palette knife um, through, into the mold and uh, used it exactly how it comes in the jar. Um, and it came out really nice. And it's got kind of a white to a off-white color uh, to it when you pull it out of the mold. It's very pliable. Uh, it's a matte finish. And uh, it just is really nice and super, super dimensional stuff. It's really pretty. Um, I enhanced the detail of the snowflakes with some uh, metallic rub-on I got off of Amazon in these generic packs here. I love the color, but... I don't love the result because it actually, even when I put fixative on top of it, it comes off on your hands. The fixative did not fix it. <laughs> so that's unfortunate, but the enhanced and the color of it uh, is really nice. I really like how that came out. So uh, I cut that panel down um, to, and these panel uh, sizes are, Let's see, the molds are actually, uh, let's see, they are in size. They are about five and three quarters by roughly seven, about seven, seven and a quarter. Yeah, five and, yeah, about five and a half, five and three quarters by seven and a quarter is what, how big the mold is. And so it got cut down to um, four and three quarter, no, three and three quarters by five. Mounted on top of some holographic cardstock that is four by five and a quarter on an A2 card base that's cut out of Stamps of Life dark blue cardstock. Um, and that card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. And um, so then I paired it with this fun little Let It Snow uh, sentiment. The shadow is cut out of the holographic. The intricate Let It Snow sentiment is cut out of blue foil adhered to the holographic and then that is popped up on Stampin' Up dimensionals. Um, let's see, and that is, let's see, this sentiment right here uh, from the Stamps of Life, Let It Snow die set, and paired with 
the snowflake and the shadow die out of the online class three, this set here. Um, and the snowflake is holographic and the shadow is blue foil, uh, uh hot glued on top of some, uh, cheesecloth. Um, whoops. Uh, this stuff right here, like it's the stuff you use for cooking and as well as a metallic, uh, little bow, I guess is what you call it. I just wound up a bunch. Of metallic thread this Guterman metallic thread uh, just wound it around my fingers a um, few times tied a knot in the center of it and then um, put it on top of the cheesecloth and put the snowflake on the top of that hot glued it down and thought this card just came out really fun and uh, very uh, blingy <laughs> and uh, I love the texture I love the dimension that that mold adds to the card it's really fun and how i did that how i got that panel to glue down to the foil was i used my tape runner on the back of it and then uh paired it with some art glitter glue so it would adhere really nicely uh to the holographic paper but i thought that came out fun and so the next uh we have here uh, so that's the cream paste uh so next i tried some fire ruby icing paste in one of the molds. I used the Damascus mold um, and put this, um, put it on top of a five by seven card. I enhanced the top of this with some little birdie metallic wax. And, um, oh, so the rub on, not so much on this because it comes off, even with fixative. The little birdie little birdie metallic wax on top of this icing paste not so much it doesn't rub, rub off as easily as that that stuff does but it does come off if you do rub it um so and i think because it's a latex finish um is why it comes off so easily on that fire ruby stuff it's it's very latexy but it's fun because it gives it a really neat look so i trimmed this panel down to um four and a half by six and a half mounted it onto some heartfelt creations lux gold cardstock that is four and three quarters by six and three quarters put that on top of a stamps of life spearmint green cardstock because it's super sturdy um that's a five by seven card base um on top of it i embellished it with this fun merry christmas sentiment uh it's a stamps of life sentiment um oops um, and that one has the small bow. Let's see this one and this one. Oh, whoops. whoops, 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 whoops. Careful, careful here. So this Merry Christmas one here, the shadow is in green spearmint, uh, Stamps of Life green spearmint. The intricate die is in the Heartfelt Creations Lux gold. And then I put one of the solid hearts on the top instead of the having the 2020 on it. Um, used this little, uh, the small bow, a uh, Stamps of Life small bow, uh, cut this out in Stamps of Life red foil, uh, cause it curls real easy. And then this piece here out of the Heartfelt Creations Lux gold, cut this part off because the back of it's white and then wrapped it around that piece around separately around the bow. Um, used the, uh, oops, Stamps of Life dies the pine cone to stamp dies and cut out um a couple of the larger oops i dropped them this the, i have like three sets of these and so they're all mixed up so not all these pieces go to this set so just just be aware of that but i cut out uh, two of the large um pine branches just the intricate piece and then I cut out two of the large uh, pine cones. The back layering is chocolate brown from Stamps of Life. And the top is the Heartfelt Creations Lux Gold. Um, and then in this set, there's this little berry branch. And I cut that on Michael's red foil cardstock. And then I hot glued those down, hot glued the bow down. And then popped the sentiment up on Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And uh, so I thought this came out just really pretty.
very, very elegant, a really pretty card. And that, that mold, those molds just add so much. So then I was like, well, do we have to use the molds or what else could we use instead of that? You know, instead of those, if that wasn't the feel we were going for, were these type. Um, and so, um, I, uh, tried it in. I, so next I tried the stencil paste and I tried the stencil paste in the Stampria mold first. Uh, this one here, this log one. And it, it came out like this. And basically how you use these is you trowel out, whether it's the cream paste or the icing paste, uh, you trowel out a bunch of it over across the top of the mold. And then you leave it a thick layer on the back because the back is how you peel it out of the mold. And you really want to, this edge, leave a thick border around it so you have something to grab and peel up. And so then you just peel it out of the mold. And these molds are super pli pliable. And I already peeled this one out, but they peel out literally that easy. And icing paste and cream paste come out this bendable, this flexible out of the mold. And look how fun that is. Look at, look at the dimension on that. It is really, they're really fun to use. However, when I tried the Stamps of Life stencil paste in the log mold, the Stamps of Life stencil paste does not like to be that thick. Um, as you can tell, it's really thick and, um, it, it didn't, it didn't like it at all. And so it just crumbled coming out of the mold. Um, I'm not going to throw this away. I'm actually going to use it in a shadow box and do a mixed media project with it. Color it up and stuff. Anyhow, I thought, well, what could I use this in that is similar? And so I thought, let's try an embossing folder. So that's what I did next. I tried it in this Darius wood grain embossing folder. And I put it on, there's a side that sticks up and then there's a side that has indent indentations in it and that's the side that I just lightly troweled the stencil paste through and it worked beautiful because this is so much thinner um it it left the stencil paste very pliable and would peel right out of it and that's what I got with this and so this embossing folder made this back panel here and so with the Stamps of Life stencil paste. And so this panel is cut down to um, three and three quarters by five. Uh, it's colored up with some metallic gilding polish and chocolate bronze gilding polish. And then highlighted with some um, enchanted gold gilding polish. It looks like that in the jar, but when it when you do it one way, it's white. And when you do it the other way, it's, it's gold. And so, um, and this is actually what I liked coloring up the, um, um, molds the best with this colored them the best and it dries and you don't have to worry about it coming off. And so then I made this card. And so I mounted this panel onto some more heartfelt creations, Lux gold. That is four by five and a quarter mounted that on top of a chocolate brown, brown cardstock. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um, chocolate stamps of life, chocolate brown cardstock, and then I used this really fun sentiment, the hope and joy, and it is this one here, the hope and joy die set here. The shadow die I cut out of Heartfelt Creations Lux Gold. Then I paired it with the sentiment die together, and cut it out of a uh, double sided adhesive foam. And then the red glitter. And then I stacked them all together. Um, used the large bow. Um, let's see. The Stamps of Life large bow. Cut this one out of Michael's red foil. And this one here. Cut that off again. But still use it to wrap it around. The Heartfelt Creations Lux Gold. Um... Paired that with the dies from the um, pine cones to stamp die set. Um, cut out a couple of the small. Um, I don't have them in this set. Uh, 
the pine boughs. There's little pine boughs that were in there. Ah, where are you? They're kind of all got stuffed into the one. <laughs> yeah, these little ones here out of the Stamps of Life Spearmint Green. The little tiny pine cones that come in the set. Uh, I layered them up with chocolate and Lux Gold again. Um, did three of those. Let's see. So I got three of those. And then a large one and two small pine branches down here. And then I just hot glued them all on to the top of this. And um, I thought this came out really fun. I thought it made a for a really pretty uh, Christmas card. and um, Or just a wintry card even. And um, thought, hey, these actually came out really neat. And so another way to use uh, your embossing folders, your Stamps of Life stencil paste, cream paste, or um, your icing paste. If you have this, another way to use that stuff. And it wouldn't use as much as if you were trying to put it through the mold. Um, because these are, you know, generally these are for an A2 size card and they're much smaller. So you don't have to worry about, you know, using up a whole ton of them. Because I used a ton on this one. There is a lot of icing uh, or stencil paste on that sucker. And so I was kind of bummed. But it'll make a fun um, shadow box uh, mixed media project. So, uh, that'll be a fun thing to do there. But anyhow, um, that's my project share. Hope you guys are having a terrific summer and, uh, let me know if you guys garden or, and, or can, and what you've been doing and, uh, or what you've been doing in your craft room and, uh, hope you, um, I hope to get back soon with another video. Um, I don't know when I'm still doing a lot at work and also um my garden is just my tomatoes are almost ready I think I got another week they look like it looks like we're gonna make it before the weather turns or it freezes I'm hoping which would be really nice because my mom she uh, gave me the trick on how to amend the soil because I was getting like blossom end rot on all my tomatoes like last year I had so many but they all had blossom end rot so we didn't hardly get any and this year they're gorgeous they're so pretty that and my bell peppers I have the most beautiful bell pepper plants this year and so I'm hoping that the weather stays long enough that I can actually get harvest off those as well so we'll see though hopefully so that's pretty exciting anyways so still working on uh, the garden stuff Stuff, but as soon as that's all over, I'll be back in here and that'll fly by in no time. You guys that, you know, the, the summer has just flown by and, um, but anyhow, um, well until next time, happy crafting. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Bye-bye.